But first, I'm going to show you washable wipes. We've had lots and lots and lots of um, inquiries about the washable wipes and how to do it and what do you need and what don't you need and is it really complicated? So I thought I'd show you the swipe system because um, we still use this at home for Abigail and I've already done three bum changes this morning. So I'm in there with you guys. I'm in there with you. <laughs> So I thought I'd show you, um, so Swipes is our own invention. We took what we loved from some, we took what and left out what we didn't like of others. We added in what we need in our day-to-day -day life because we do have some special circumstances and needs and put together just a very simple system that's just easy and practical. Um, so there you go. So Swipes is two pails. I'll put them down here. I got my display kit. So let's see if I can make this work so you can see. See, I had my computer. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Alrighty, so let me do this. So you get two pails. You get a nice big one. Which is five litres. That's for all the dirty wipes. They make really good drums for toddlers. Alright, so this is your laundry pail. Um, you get everything in the basic kit. And this comes with your mesh bag, which is made in Australia. Our pails are made in Australia, um, a family company in Melbourne. So we've supported Australia where we can um, and keeping the price reasonable. So the, bag, the mesh bag, which is designed to put all your dirty wipes into, and then all you gotta do is take it out and put it straight into the machine. It is zippered, so it's really strong, and over the zip, is a velcro tab stops it coming undone and it's really easy and it has nice big holes as well so when your pooey wipes are sitting in the water all the poo should come off the chunky bits all right so you usually half fill your five litre pail this can sit in your laundry or in next to your change table whatever suits you if you've got a particularly smelly um maybe in the laundry or the bathroom you can choose. Um, I'll show you this bit. So this, your mesh bag, can do a couple of things. It can sit around the pail like that, and you can put the lid on just to sit on top. Okay. If you have a, if you want to have it half closed, I recommend putting the folded over part of the mesh bag to the back. This one forward, and then you can half put it on. And I'll show you what's really great with these sealing lids in a second. And that can sit. And then this sort of just comes up and down if you want. Or if you've got a toddler who is into everything, you can just tuck this in. And once it's in the water, it tends to float up again. And you can put the lid completely on and take it on and off. Each time you use the lid, they get easier to put on and off. Um, so in here you've got your water. You just need water. All you have to do with the kits is add the water. That's what you need to do. Then you use your laundry essential oil. You nearly need two or three drops. It's um, tea tree and lemon tea tree, which is antibacterial and helps to break down the poo and smells nice. All right, and at the end of the day, wherever you are, you can walk with bobbing your arm to your handle to the laundry. Take the tip of the bag up, put this over the washing machine, and as you pull it out, all the dripping and gooeyness will go straight to the washing machine. You don't have to worry about accidentally putting it over sinks or benches or yourself, all right? You should touch less poo. Okay, so that's the dirty side, all right? So you get your oil in your bag and your pail. There you go. Okay. Your other option, no, not other option, it also comes with this one. And this is your fresh pail. This is where all your nice clean wipes go. Alright, so you get 20 bamboo double terry wipes in the kit. Get some uh, choice of three oils. There's rose and rose geranium and rose otto, lavender and chamomile and mandarin and tea tree. So again, the same sort of lid. This is a 3.4 litre pail. You also get stickers with the 
tails here. There's a choice of, I think there's five now. We've been able to expand. There's boys or girls, and there's a few other types, dinosaurs. And there's a few other ones, okay? So, in here is some water. I'm going to put a little bit here, bit in because I've got a lot of electrical around me here and I don't want to electrocute myself. All right, so you put a few drops of your essential oil, two to three drops. You need one cup of water to about 10 wipes. Now, you can either, there's a couple of options you can do. James and I, I like a, um, James and I disagree on how to do the wipes, but I always win. I like a sloppy mixture, so I like a lot more water to my number of wipes. Um, James likes it just nice and damp. That's fine. He, he, he can do that when he's at home doing the kids. I like mine sloppy. All right, so you can add more water, use less water. Um, the amount of water, we say about a cup to about 10 wipes. Um, that's on average, depending on where you live in Australia. So if you're in a dry heat, it's going to evaporate. If you're in a hot, humid heat, uh, it's going to evaporate, um, but you've got to be careful of mould. All right, if you're in cold wind, cold Melbourne, there's also the issue with a, a potential of mold and the mold develops if you don't change your water often enough. So you need to change your water daily is ideal. Okay, a new fresh batch of water. Um, you can get up to three days depending on where you're living. All right, so we've had some people get three days. I can get uh, three days in winter and maybe two days in summer in Brisbane, maybe. All right, but what? You have a choice. You can either put your wipes in the water, okay, and then they're ready to go and squeeze them out in the white baby's bottle, or you can keep them beside you on a shelf. This is what I do with Abigail, and this sits on top on a taller shelf, so little hands can't reach, and this sits, and then I grab the wipes as I need them and dunk them. So you can choose what you want to do. Again, there's a handle that you can take and fill up the um, pail as you need to. Yeah. Alright, um, wipes. Any wipes. Um, ours don't have to be um, nicely placed in. You don't have to fold them. You don't have to do anything special. You just chuck them in. So we've made this. It's a chuck and go system really. Um, I don't have time to be laying in wipes and folding and all the rest of it. So I grab them, chuck them in and off we go. Now, these wipes are actually Abigail's. <laughs> this one is a current wipe we have that we are using and is from our current stash because we test all the wipes when they come in um, before we sell them to make sure they're good. Um, and this one, which I thought you might find interesting, this one, which looks, it does look quite chatty when you really look at it. This is my 10 year old baby behind wipe and it's still going. I bought these 10 years ago and they're still going. I'm pretty proud of them. So I'll put that, I'll prove that I've got water in there. So I'll put one in. There's water in there. Okay. So we do this at Expos, which I really like doing. Okay, so the lid's going on. Okay. Now, if you've got a toddler and they like to knock things over, um, we also take the pails around the house. So they'll go outside. At the moment, I've got mine sitting in the lounge room with Abigail. Um, her carer's with her. Hello! Um, so um, Abigail's in the lounge room at the moment with her um, carer, or best friend we call her. Um, around a lot of electrical stuff. So the lid's on and there's water in there. It doesn't leak, all right? So if you knock it off accidentally and the lid's on, it should oh, Miriam, I love my swipes too. Okay, so it doesn't come out. So I've got probably two to three cups of water in there. All right, obviously I'm over being really silly. Don't do this at home, all right? So if you knock it over and the lid's on firm, should not leak should not okay so if you've got active toddlers which i had with the boys um and changing out his bum in the um lounge room and little toddlers because she's the eldest it's like oh my gosh they can talk it over but i'll put the lid on so so we had a boil grab it bring it out wipe their bottom laundry pail washing machine washed now when you can dry them, we recommend um, washing and drying them once a week, um, but they don't have to be uh, dry when if you reuse them. You can reuse them straight away when they're just damp from the washing machine. Easy. Um, what else can I tell you? Oh, out 
and about. That's where we were going. Out and about. So I'm just going to move these. Make sure I don't knock them over and cause an electrical fire. There you go. I am in the study, working hard today. Radio. So out and about. With the swipes kit, you also get a double pocket wet bag. All right. It's two pockets because I can't be half assed with two. Wet bags, I need one in, out, and off you go. So the idea is, you take these out and they're, the idea is that they're damp, not saturated, all right? We go to hospital and spend five to six hours in the hospital and they're still damp. So the idea is to get it so it's damp. Not wet, damp. So that's enough to do a bump, all right? Yes, yes, Miriam, straight from the wash. All right. So you put your freshies in the front usually and your dirties once you've done your business. Let me know if I'm cutting out guys. And then your dirties in the back. Uh, for usually, I'll usually take six to ten wipes for half a day. Um, but you can work that out if you've got a cooper or a peer or you know how many wipes you usually use when you're at home and then take a couple of more. You can also use them for hands and faces. Um, we like really big ones for hands and face faces. You can really get in there. Um, there you go. If I think of anything else, I'll share. 